everyone. I'm not sure if this is working because this is my first time doing it. Uh, I'm going to assume it's on. Ah, yes. Hi. Um, hello, everyone. I'm here to, uh, to talk about the premiere for How to Train Your Husband that's coming out soon. Um, I'm very excited to be here. Actually, this is my very first live on my own. Um, I will be answering some questions that Hallmark Channel just sent me over, and I also will try to um, answer some questions that you guys have. Uh, okay, so just ask. Let's see. Uh, tell us about working with an adorable puppy co-star. Well, I have to say, uh, working with puppies can be a challenge, but this little guy was fantastic. Um, his name was actually Henry in real life. That's why we used Henry in the movie as well. Um, and Christine, she did a fantastic job training him and she was there the entire time we shoot with him. And, um, it was lovely. It was actually quite nice because he's, uh, he was just great. You give him all the treats and he was just, yeah, he would do anything you wanted. So it was fun. Um, okay. Next one. Uh, it must've been really fun to work with, uh, to have, on set with the cast, and can you share any behind the scenes moments? Oh, to be honest with you guys, I we shot this a while ago, so I I think that the highlight of the film was working with the cast. Uh, Jonathan Chase, um, Andre Hall, and Carla Mosley, Perry Gilping. She they they all made it such a fun set, um, and uh, the movie would not be good if it wasn't for them. I swear, they're they're just uh, they were fantastic. And, uh, and yeah, I think we had a lot of behind the scenes. We got to shoot in, in so many different locations and we got to just, you know, be with each other. We were all living in the same hotel. Um, and, uh, yeah, they, uh, they made it, uh, they made it really good. Uh, your character Jillian is looking for inspiration for her new book. How do you find inspiration? Um, how do I find inspiration? Well, it depends on what I want to do. Um, I think that for the most part, I like to find inspiration in music. I love listening to music. I, uh, there's always music playing at the house. And, uh, I think that that's, that's a, that's a nice relaxing way to find any kind of inspiration. I think that music sets the mood in whatever you want to do. Um, okay. Let's see if I have some questions. Not quite sure how this works, guys. Do, do, do. Um, everyone's, you guys are so nice. Hallmark is my dream. How did you land the role? I got lucky. Honestly, I've been working, I've been doing this for many years and it's been, it's been a blast to kind of fall into different characters and fall into different sets and, and, and just, and have a ton of fun with it. Let's see. Oh man, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Hola, 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 todo el mundo. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, not many questions, guys. We're just saying nice things. You're, you guys are such nice people. Um, okay, I want to go with one of the other questions. Jillian is looking for a key to the perfect relationship. She is really looking for it. Uh, can you share the best piece of advice that I have learned for relationships? Um, well, the best advice I can say is that there is no such thing as perfect relationships. So you can't search for anything that's perfect. You can only hope to find something that's perfect for you. And that doesn't mean it's going to be great all the time. It's ups and downs, but it's a, uh, it's a challenge. Relationships are work, but uh, if you already go into it, knowing that I think you'll be good. Adoption ever after is a big theme of the movie. Yes, it is. Uh, what are your fans hoping for? Awareness. Um, I think that I, the more the more we put out there that adoption is a great thing for everybody to have, for, to do. Um, there are plenty of dogs out, out there that need a home. Um, so I think if you have the time and you have the means and you have love to give, adopt. Why do you think it's important to rescue from shelters? Well, exactly. I think that it's important because there's so many dogs out there that were not given a fair chance right off the start of their lives. And I think that if you do have the time and you have the means and you have the love to give, that you can really turn around and, and give 
give a puppy, a cat, any kind of pet, a home and uh, a chance. Let's see. Were there any funny moments, um, funny puppy moments on set? I feel like every single puppy moment on set was funny. Um, then again, Henry was so good. He was such a good puppy. I, I mean, it's funny because throughout the movie, he started gaining a little bit of weight. All those treats. I think it happened to us too, though. Puppies can be a handful. Um, as fans will see in the movie, yes, they are. But uh, can you give us any tips about bringing a new pet home? Well, uh, patience. I can't stress that enough. Patience. Um, my partner and I adopted a couple of puppies um, almost two years ago. We got them when they were nine weeks old. And I didn't realize how much patience you actually needed until these little guys were in our lives. Summer is just around the corner. What is your one summer essential? What is my one summer essential? Uh, I guess I should say it's sunscreen. Don't leave home without it. I grew up in Miami and I was not a huge sunscreen user and then I had to pay the consequences. Um, so sunscreen every day, no matter, no matter sunny or, or cloudy or whatever it is. The location in the movie was beautiful. Where did you guys film? It was. It actually, I think that the, the location is another character of the film. We were very lucky to shoot in Boston. It was fantastic. We were shooting in September, going into October, so we kind of saw the switch of, of, the, of the season, and it was so beautiful. I had never been to Boston before. Um, it was I, I, I can't even stress enough how much people need to visit Boston. Uh, it's, 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 we were literally right in the middle um, by Boston Commons. So we, we got to see a lot and share a lot and walk everywhere. Um, it was great. Da, da, da. Fans are thrilled to see you back on their screens. Uh, what has been your favorite Hallmark project? Um, well, I think that each project has a, has a, special something. Um, I feel like mm, the one that sticks out the most to me is The Sweetest Heart. I, I met a lovely, lovely people in that movie. And I think that that's, yeah, I really love, again, I'm biased though. So I love all of them. Okay. I'm going to try to see if there's any questions. How are my dogs now? They're great. Uh, they're almost two. Well, in July, July, they will be two. And they're good. They're good. They're a handful. Two handfuls. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Boston is beautiful. Oh, it's your hometown. Cool. I don't see any questions, guys. <laughs> uh, winter or summer? Hmm. I think winter these days. I really like winter, especially living up here in Vancouver now. And it's been been beautiful. I, I didn't grow up with snow. I grew up in Miami, so I, I definitely need a, needed a little bit of change. Thank you. Oh, oh man. Let's see, I have a question. Okay, I'm going to go over here. Uh, what are you excited about for fans to see tonight? I think... I honestly, I, I, I have to see Boston. I, I, I love everyone. I mean, like I said, John, ev the whole cast is fantastic. They did a fantastic job doing this movie. Um, they, they just the click the, the connection that we all had was quite lovely, but I really like the city. I think Boston is a beautiful asset to this film. Um, they did a, they did a wonderful job. Sandra Martin, um, the director, she was lovely. And, uh, and they did, they, I think they highlighted the city quite well. I'm excited for you guys to see that. Because if you've never been to Boston, you should definitely go to Boston. What kind of dogs are, oh, my dogs, uh, they're Pitskies. They're, uh, they're Pitbull Huskies. So again, rescue. You sometimes don't know what you're going to get. Um, and we fell in love with them and yeah, that's what they are. Let's see. Am I doing Christmas movies? Uh, I haven't. I've never done a Christmas movie for Hallmark, actually. I've done I feel like I've only done spring and fall, but I've never done a Christmas movie. Maybe in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 
do I have a Hallmark movie? Yes, it's coming out tonight in like 15 minutes. Da -da -da. How long did you shoot for? Um, I think we shot for a month. I think it was like a good 30 days because we started, I think it was early September and it went into early October. So around 30 days, something like that. Let's see. Any of your past Hallmark movies getting a sequel? No, I don't know. But you know, there was once we were talking uh, with Ben Ayers, we did a movie called Falling for Vermont, and we we were dying to do a sequel. Um, I had such a lovely time working with him. He's hysterical. He's such a good actor and hysterical. So maybe, I don't know, Falling for something else. Favorite part of the movie? Um, what was my favorite part of the movie? Honestly, I think I had, I had a lovely time with Carla. Carla Mosley was hysterical. She's a talent. She's so good in the movie. Um, I really enjoyed working with her. She's a doll. And then all the dogs. There were so many dogs. Guys, you guys are so kind. All your comments are so beautiful. So I appreciate that. Thank you. And, I, and you guys, there's so many people here. I, I was expecting maybe 20 tops. So thank you. Um, Henry says hi. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I can't even imagine how big Henry is. Oh, Green's from Venezuela. Hola, Venezuela. What are my hobbies uh, during this quarantine? Oh, uh, well, it's been interesting, but reading, we read a lot. We read and, and, and watch movies and uh, gardening. It's been fun. Falling for Vermont is amazing. Yes, it was. It was so much fun. We need to get some. Yes, Ben Ayers is fantastic. Let's see what else. Um, okay, I think I'm going to answer a couple of more questions, and then I'm going to go get ready to watch the movie, guys. Actually, I can't watch the movie because I don't have Hallmark Channel. <laughs> but I'm going to be on Twitter, and you guys can use the hashtag... Um, how to train your husband and I will keep up to see if you guys are liking the film. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, see if there's any, you guys are not asking questions. You guys are very kind though. Pumpkin pie wars. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is so crazy. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. So you can go and get ready to see this movie. But thank you. Thank you for joining me on my very first live by myself. So I, I don't know if I did well or not, but I hope I did. Uh, but thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy the film and use the hashtag uh, how to train your husband. And I will see if you guys are enjoying it. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. If there was ever a time our world needed heroes,